Chapter 7 is on redemption. Before we get into chapter 7, let's review real quick. Chapter 6, what are the obstacles to living emotional chastity? We have been hearing so many wonderful things about this habit of connecting our head and heart as we try to love this other person in an integrated and healthy way. But we also know there are some there are obstacles. And one of them is our human frailty. Uh, another is the dehumanizing um, secular culture. And then the reality of evil. We went into those in, in very, uh, fairly detail uh, in chapter 5, which hopefully we'll understand uh, those obstacles a little bit more uh, so we can avoid them. Chapter 7, redemption, is kind of like the solution, right? Redemption in Christ, uh, because hope is the center of Christianity. And if we are feeling demoralized by reading and discussing some of this, like, how am I ever going to live this? We have to believe at the very center of our faith is hope. We believe that there is nothing to prevent our human nature from being raised up to something greater, even after sin. This is the centerpiece of forgiveness and hope in Christianity. Redemption means to restore. Christ restores the unity in the human person and in human relationships by coming to us and instituting the sacraments and giving us this church that has all the elements to help us walk this walk to perfect love in Him. Following Christ is a calling. It's an invitation to conform our lives to His life, to every aspect of His life, to His words and His gestures and His actions that we find in the Gospel. And we have the very power of God on our side, so it's important to see this within the context of our striving for an emotionally integrated life. So, at the heart of redemption is, of course, baptism. Baptism is the first sacrament where we enter into uh, this newness of life, this new man, this new woman in Christ. We are given new powers in baptism that help our reason and our will to know truth and to choose goodness. It's like God, in His grace, began to do His divine surgery and zzz, zzz, began to work on our reason that was darkened by sin and began to work on our will that was weakened by sin and work on our emotional life that was disordered by sin. It's, it's like our Lord says in the Gospel, if the vine is not united to the branch, it has no life. If that vine and branch are not united, if we don't live as Christians united to our Lord and to the grace that He gives us, that separation takes the very life, the very capacity for us to love away. The power of redeeming grace reorders and reintegrates the human person. All of me has been redeemed, my reason and my will and my emotions. And the process of this reordering happens according to Christ's dominion in my life. How, how much I know Him, how much I allow Him to come into my life and show me where I need to improve, I need to change, I need to convert and go to Him with all that I am so that He can make me truly Himself. In the study guide, I would like you to hone in or focus on baptism and just understanding what this gift means to my life. And again, a little bit more of what baptism does and what it brings into this reintegrating, reordering uh, of myself, my, my relationships so that I can love. Thank you.